Hello, I am Wen Shui Fan, a current PhD student at Lockheed Lab from Queen's University Biology Department. Today, I would like to quickly uh, present my poster on integrating community observations and environmental DNA surveys to model the distribution of a uh, freshwater turtle species, uh, the musk turtle in southern Ontario. So we are interested in how environmental DNA can help us to model the distribution of uh, cryptic organisms living in aquatic environments. As we know, the traditional survey methods for such organisms can be labor intensive and even cause stress or harm to the uh, study organisms. That's where the environmental DNA or eDNA uh, comes into place. It does have a few advantages as non-invasive and also is highly sensitive and compared to traditional survey methods, is, is considered uh, cost effective. Although it does have its own challenges, we're not going to go into details uh, on that today, but to introduce the study species of my re research, which is the common mass turtle, or also known as stink pots. It has a wide uh, distribution range across eastern North America and extended their northern range limits to southern Ontario, as we can uh, show in here. It is one of the smallest turtle, uh, freshwater turtles uh, in North America. It is under protection in both on federation, on federation level in Canada, also in provincial level in Ontario. Uh, compared to other co-occurring turtle species such as snapping turtle, uh, map turtle, or penny turtle, uh, this turtle lack of lacks of air basking behavior, which means during the summertime it does not emerge out of the water to do the thermal regulation via basking. Uh, instead, it almost hide under the water uh, almost entirely. Uh, inside of the water. So due to this fact, we uh, suspect that the, the, the distribution of this turtle in this uh, in the southern Ontario is probably underestimated. So for this study, we applied the uh, niche modeling tool called Maximum Entropy Algorithm, in, in short, Maxent. Uh, it tries to statistically uh, relate species occurrences with environmental predictors uh, across the landscape. So it requires presence only, presence, uh, presence only occurrence data and environmental variables, uh, variable layers to uh, build the model. For this study, we compile 40 different environmental predictors. Uh, we're going to talk in a sec. And from the output of the models, it predicts the probability distribution of the presence of our turtle uh, with a given uh, environmental constraints. So on the left corner, we have the current occurrences records from the natural 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 History Information Center that compiles the, the occurrence records of this turtle uh, via traditional observations. On the right side, we have the eDNA sample size for my study from Kingston area all the way to the edge of Algonquin Park. So altogether, we have 386 NHIC records, that is traditional observations. Also, with that, we have 145 eDNA survey sites. And with that size, we have 96 detections uh, plus 49 non-detections. So combining the uh, NHIC records and eDNA detections, we build a model using the maximum, maximum entropy algorithm. So here we quickly show the eDNA detection sensitivity on the left panel, where we estimated the detection limit of our assays to be 10 copies per target DNA per reaction or calculated to 125 copies uh, of DNA per liter of water that we sampled. On the MXN modeling side, the most important, so this table shows the contribution of variables inside our models. So out of our altogether 40 different variables, here are the variables that are considered to be significant and their uh, importance to the, to the model is ranked here. If we do a principal component analysis upon these variables, we can group the variables into three different categories, major categories, which can, can be the, uh, category, categorized into thermal conditions, which include the, the te uh, temp mean temperature uh, annually, uh, the mean temperature of the warmest quarter, which is the summer, and then aquatic environment char characteristics, which include the, uh, the prevalence of shorelines, prevalence of uh, water body, which is lakes and rivers and uh, streams, and also prevalence of grass and shrub uh, type of uh, landscape that might uh, that related to the transition zone transition zones between land and aquatic environments. 
And finally, we have the category of elevation related variables, including forest prevalence, the annual, range, uh, annual temperature range, and precipitation of the warmest quarter. So finally, I show here how uh, the, the occurrences of turtles is predicted by each of the variables uh, in, of the model. So I'm not going to read it, uh, bore, bore you guys with all the text on the on the side, but I just want to point out the, the, the most interesting uh, ones that I think are the variables showing the optimal effects, for example, the water body prevalence. So in this bell-shaped curve, it indicates that a turtle prefer uh, the water body size to be in the middle. So too small of a water body size or too large of it it's not preferable. Instead, uh, the stink pot seems to be uh, like to be likely to be found in mid-sized water bodies. And the other group of variables that that's very interesting are the variables that show in thresholding effects, which mean which means above or beyond uh, or below certain uh, level of the variables, the turtle will be predicted to be non-existent. So those variables are probably thresholding or limiting the presence of this turtle or distribution of turtles at the northern range limits. These are the mean annual temperature, uh, mean temperature of the warmest quarter, uh, showing right here. So below around 17, 16 degrees, there will be no turtles at all. And also the uh, high elevation is not preferable for turtles, showing here above 400 meters, especially in a Algonquin uh, park area, there's no stink pots uh, due to the high elevation. And then finally, we have the precipitation of the warmest quarter. If it exceeds certain level, then the turtle will not be predicted to be there. So with this, I would like to thank for your attention. Uh, we are short on time, so let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them. Thank you.